Good morning, children. Welcome to maths class. So in maths, we have completed with block twenty-five. That means we have completed all the blocks, isn't it, children? And I hope you have written your classwork, volume book, skill sheet. All you have done, good. Now we have exams, right? Now we have to do the revision. Okay, which exam you have? Summative assessment three, essay three, isn't it? So we have to do the revision, isn't it? So let me. tell you the model paper first then i'll explain you each and every bit so that we can do the revision okay so here starts the model paper the first bit is addition using expanded form here children expanded form addition you you will get without regrouping and also with regrouping okay next is addition using column method here also with regrouping without regrouping okay next you have subtraction using expanded form here also grouping regrouping and then subtraction using column method here also grouping and without regrouping okay don't get confused you will get all expanded form also column method also okay next fifth bit you have story problems the story problems related to addition and subtraction okay next you have write the days of the week here children you have to learn the spellings of the days sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday okay so write learn the spelling so i might ask you to write the days of the week or else i might have given you in the form of fill in the blanks or in the form of question answers like what comes after tuesday wednesday what comes before saturday friday okay or else monday tuesday dash in that way also i can give the same thing with the months of the year also all 12 months january february march april may june july august september october november december so same it might be in the form of fill in the blanks it might be in the form of question answers or i might give you write the months of the year 12 months okay children prepare in both way next count the given amount so there will be an amount given you have to count everything and you need to write the answer how will you pay so the cost of a thing will be given how you will pay you need to write it down okay next making data handling the last topic block 25 data handling using the tally marks you have to do no make a table using a tally marks and answer the questions okay so and graphs block graph you have pictograph you have question answers you have line plot you have so all this will be included in that it might be you will get all the graphs or it might be you get one or two graphs okay it depends okay so this is the end of our model paper children so in this way you you will get your exam paper in these bits okay now from today we will start with the revision daily few bits we will take and we will revise everything and you also with more problems that is from your pro, uh, problems from your content book from your notebook from the skill sheet from the volume book you can get those book and revise more practice more okay now let's start with the first bit which is addition using expanded form okay so 30 plus 48 they have given so 30 becomes 30 plus 0 and 48 becomes 40 plus 8 isn't it now expanded form now that's why we have expanded now you have addition in between look children whether it is addition or subtraction based on that question only you can do okay now addition you have so you will place plus symbol and always start from the one side so 0 plus 8 0 plus 8 becomes 8 isn't it so you will write 8 and this plus you have to copy same see children don't get confused here plus is the plus for the expanded form not for the sum this is not the this is not the addition this is the addition okay this is just the plus for the expanded form okay now we have done with the first ones place now we have we have to do with the tens place 30 plus 40 30 plus 40 will give us 70 so you will write 70 now 70 plus 8 will give us 78 that means when number we are adding 30 and 48 you will get the answer as 78 that's what you will mention 30 plus 48 is equal to 
am i clear children so this is addition using expanded form without regrouping so let's see with regrouping 19 plus 38 so 19 becomes 10 plus 9 and 38 becomes 30 plus 8 now we are doing addition so you'll place the plus symbol and always start from the ones place so 9 plus 8 9 plus 8 how much 17 isn't it so 17 you have two digits isn't it children but here you have this is only for ones this is only for ones isn't it this is for tens so for 17 you have to expand and write as 10 plus 7 now this 10 7 becomes ones and this tens you need to borrow because this is the tens no so you need to borrow there okay like this now add 10 plus 10 20 20 plus 30 how much 20 plus 30 50 okay so before writing that you need to copy this plus as it is down so 50 now 50 plus 7 becomes 57 that means 19 plus 38 is equal to 15 57 19 plus 38 is equal to 57 okay children so in this way you will get the addition for the expanded form let's see the column method so second bit addition using column method so the sum is 25 plus 42 plus 11 so whenever we are doing the column method children first we have to make the columns as tens and ones because all are two digits isn't it you have ones we have tens ones tens ones tens yes so you will make the columns ones tens and you will start writing 25 so 20 is two tens so two will be under t five will be under o 42 four tens two ones so four will be under t and two will be under o 11 in 11 one ten and one one okay now you will add them and you will write five plus two seven seven plus two sorry seven plus one you have seven plus one becomes eight so you will write eight okay now 2 plus 4, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. So, you will write 7. Okay, children. So, here they had 3 numbers. So, we are adding like this. For example, if it is only 25 and 42. Yes, directly you can add like this. 5 plus 2 becomes 7. 2 plus 4 becomes 6. 67. That means 25 plus 42 is equal to 67. Okay. So, in that way also you can write it down. Okay. Now, 25 plus 42 plus 11 is equal to 78. Okay, children. Now, this is without regrouping. Now, let's see with regrouping. 43 plus 18. So, make the columns first. 43, 4 tens, 3 ones. 18, 1 tens, 8 ones. Okay. So, now we are doing the addition. Always start from 1. So, 3 plus 8 3 plus 8 becomes 11 so in 11 again 11 becomes 10 plus 1 isn't it so this one you will write it down and this 10 you will carry carry as 1 okay because it is already tens isn't it so 1 10 you will carry this 1 10 we are carrying as 1 because it is already in tens so 1 so 1 plus 4 becomes 5, 5 plus 1 becomes 6. So, you will write 6, 61. That means 43 plus 18 is equal to 61. So, in this way, you need to do the addition. Expanded form also, column method also. Now, coming to the third bit, which is subtraction using expanded form. Again, you have to expand and you need to subtract here. Take away. Okay. So, 97 becomes 90 plus 7. 33 becomes 30 plus 3 and we are here we are doing subtraction minus isn't it so you will place minus and always addition or it might be subtraction you have to start from the ones isn't it so this is your ones so 7 7 minus 3 7 minus 3 so 7 minus 3 that means 3 in your mind count till 7 after 3 4, 5, 6, 
7. How many fingers? 4 fingers. So you will write 4. Now this plus you will write it down as it is. Don't get confused children. This is the expanded form plus. Okay. This is the thing what we are doing. Okay. So this plus you will copy it down. Now you have 90 minus 30. So 90 minus 30. How much you will get? You will get. Now, how you can do he this one? Simply do 9 minus 3. So this 0 you can write it down as it is 0. And 9 minus 3 means 3 in your mind. 9 count till 9. After 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 fingers isn't it? So you will write 6 here. Okay, in that way you can write. So 60. 6 and 0 become 60. 60 plus 4 becomes 64. Isn't it? That means 97 minus 33 is equal to 64. Okay, this is without regrouping. Now let's see with regrouping. 53 minus 38. So 53 becomes 50 plus 3. 38 becomes 30 plus 8. Now we have to do the subtraction. Now let starts from the once you have 3 minus 8. Can we do 3 minus 8? 8 in your mind count till 3. We can't do. We should, Actually we have to do forward counting. No. But here it is backward counting. From 8 to 3 you need to count backward. That is not correct. Isn't it? So what we have to do is we have to borrow from 50. Then from 50 you will take 110 and that 50 becomes 40 and that 10 you will add it to 3 and 3 becomes 13. 10 plus 3 becomes 13, isn't it? So 13. Now 13 minus 8. Now 8 in your mind count till 13. After 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. How many fingers? 5. So you will write 5. Okay, and this plus you will copy it down. Now you have 40 minus 30. 40 minus 30 becomes 10, isn't it? 10 plus 5 becomes 15. That means 53 minus 38 is equal to 15. Okay, now subtraction with expanded form finished. Now let's go to the next bit which is subtraction using column method. 96 minus 30. So, first in column method, always make the columns as tens and ones. 96, 9 tens and 6 ones. So, you will write 96, 9 under T, 6 under O. 30, 3, 0, 30. 30 means 3 under tens and 0 under O because in ones place you have nothing. 0 it is. So, minus 6 minus 0 in ones place you have 6 minus 0. So, you will get the same answer, 6. 9 minus 3, under 10s it is 9 minus 3 which becomes 9 minus 3. 3 in your mind, count till 6. After 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 fingers, isn't it? So, you will write 6. That became 66. That means 96 minus 30 is equal to 66. Okay. So, this is without regrouping. Let's see with regrouping. Okay. 41 minus 24. Okay. Make the columns tens ones. 41. That is 4 tens and 1 one. So 41. 24. 2 tens and 4 ones. Okay. Place the minus symbol. Now we have to do from ones. So 1 minus 4. Can we do? No. Right. So what we have to do is we have to borrow from the tens place. Now 4 becomes 3. And 1 becomes 11. Okay. 11 minus 4. So 4 in your mind. Count till 11. After 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. How many fingers? 7 fingers. So you will write 7. In tens place. 3 minus 2. So 3 minus 2 becomes 1. Isn't it? So you will write 1. So 41 minus 24 is equal to 17. Okay, children. So, in this way, you have to do your addition in the expanded form and in the column method and also subtraction expanded form and column method. In all this, you have with regrouping and without regrouping also. Okay. So, practice these bits, children. Get the sums from your content book. 
from your skill sheet from your volume book so that you can practice more and it will be easy for you to do in the exams with whichever number i'll give you okay children so do well prepare well children okay in the next class we will learn the next top bits okay so bye children